I just want to chat, you know? I just want to chat. What the f Fix TF2. TF2 is one of the most heavily bodied games in recent history. Mainly, uh, idol bots and shopper bots or whatever the f Basically bots that don't actually go into games, but, you know, money and, like, items. But, there have been- but the 3% of bots- Yes, actually, 3% of bots, which are still a lot, are cheater bots. Cheater bots have been infiltrating TF2 for eight years since the meteor match update. And yeah, I know people say, oh, we've been facing the bug crisis since 2017. No, we have not. That is a lie. We have been facing the bot crisis since 2016, 10 days after meteor match. Which, by the way, uh, TF2 player says worst update ever made. But, um, and ever since that, TF2 has been in an almost unplayable state. Like, viciously unplayable. And what I mean by viciously, I mean, like, so unplayable. Oh, my limbs are cut off. I don't care. It's basically been making the game practically unplayable if you want to play on, um, casual servers, which are basically Valve's main, um, servers that you, uh, if you want to play Team Fortress 3, you play on these servers. And, you know, it doesn't, it, it's not the best way to play it exactly. That's actually an understand, which is the worst possible way to play the game. Because it's infiltrated by these f***ing cheater bots who don't do sh** about this game. Um, who just... Wait, let me calm down. So, cheater bots, they choose the sniper class. They do fully charged headshots at human players. And they'll basically, they'll basically come in groups or they'll wander around the map and just shoot people. Well, advertising whatever the f*** they're advertising, it could be, um, you know, it could be their Discord server if you want, uh, bot immunity. Which, by the way, that's f***ing horrible. Like, they're making bot a business. What a, what a disgrace to these people. And, it's just been a mess, dude. The game has become basically unplayable, like, people, like, I'm playing on a f***ing community server right now because I tried going into a casual server and, you know, there was nothing but sniper bots. It's so annoying. Has it, it hasn't ruined my enjoyment of TF2. Not at all. I'd say because community servers are way more active in... And talkative. Oh, you see, a lot of people don't like community servers because community servers are basically where like the experienced people go. I guess you would say where like they have skills. Like like I don't have any skill. I'm fucking horrible at this game. Jeffrey Epstein. And I'm not gonna be like fucking Diesel Patches. Where like the gameplay is so atrocious. Like yeah, I know. I'm not trying to be good right now. I'm just trying to chill out and talk to the and talk to the to my fucking. I don't even know what headset this is called again. Yeah, it's just been a- it's just been a mess, dude. They have root- they are basically killing off the game. You know? Today is May 26th, at the time of filming this. May 26th was the announcement. And the first stage of the Sphinx TF2 protest, because the last two protests were not planned. They were- they just happened. It went really viral, two news articles, and that's it. It didn't, didn't really go anywhere, right? So... Oh, this is a Kiss me! And, you know, we just want this game to thrive. Because, you know, this game has such a long legacy behind it, spanning almost 20 years and now the game is just in this horrible state where it's like you can't play the game because fucking we have bots in the in the main servers that are just that are just spamming sniper bots racist bigoted bigoted 
in vulgar hate speech using AI voice clones of random TF2 YouTubers and, and sh**. What the f man? Yeah, I deserve that. And that video by Jesse Jesus, TF2 No One's Home, is gave the community such a massive um I guess you would say reality check that that this game is truly not thriving. It's truly on the edge of its own destruction. And ever since that video, a bunch of fans rightfully got angry at Valve for neglecting such a well-made video game. And the thing is that they love TF2. The TF2 fan base, despite having many issues that, yes, are very noticeable, like racism and bigotry and thinking that they're better than every other game and... Overwatch is better. It, like, shut the like, like, bull hockey bullshit like that that no one really gives a f about. But the TF2 fan base is also very passionate. They'll create some of the best content you'll ever watch. They'll and just for because they love Team Fortress, they'll create some of the best content that you will ever see because of Team Fortress. And Valve has basically said, f this game. We don't care about it anymore. We're making Deadlock, which just looks like a generic third-person shooter with the cartoony art style. L people have literally just started calling it TF3. You know, ever since that, fans are now collectively agreeing because of Wheezy TF2, explaining how we could actually save TF2. Well, more, more likely demand a fix for TF2, which is now called Fix TF2. You know what? And we're fed up with it. We're angry at this because I've seen the What's video on TF2's Bob Problem is Worse Than You Think. That video made me physically angry. Like, like I was, I was looking like Vegeta seeing Trunks' dead body in the Cell Saga. Fucking bullshit. I hate this. I hate what's happening to this game. I love this game. It's one of my favorite games I've ever played. I'm not good at it. I'm not trying to be right now. I'm just trying to rant. And you know what? I'm fucking fed up. We all should be fed up. In my community post I made three weeks ago prior to this, uh, prior to this video, May 26th, the two-year anniversary of the TF2 community, we hear you tweet. This is fucking unacceptable. They can do this. It's not a treadmill problem. They have the money, the resources, and the capabilities to, to maintain a game they are still selling on the Steam Store. And they still release crates. They still release items, taunts, holiday hits. And they still release this shit every fucking year without addressing the main problem. Because they're basically saying, hey, we're not going to take care of this, but please, please, for the love of God, give us your money. You know, I made a Reddit post, and you know, people in the Book of Doom posted were on it, saying that, oh, what's the point? Is there no hope? The game's dead. Oh, what's the f***ing point? Oh my God, you guys are so hopeless. Give up, give up. Uh, uh, Valve doesn't give a f*** about us. Well, number one, f*** you. And number two, TF2 makes Valve 10 to 13 million dollars a year. Yes, 10 to 13 million dollars a year, and only 40,000 people play this game. And most of it are uh, most of it are bots and like reselling and traders. I do get that, but still, 10 million fucking dollars. And they can't keep basic maintenance on a game they still want you to play because it's still up there. It's still in Steam's top 10, even though it's most likely faked. They still release crates and items expecting you to play this game. 
and they can't keep basic f***ing maintenance? Are you serious, Val? Come on, dude! You and then, and the thing is that, oh, but the but the first one worked, right? It did not. It did. It did not. It did nothing. It did zilch. Zilch. It did nothing, bro. All it did was a tweet, and then the protest failed. So fucking aggravated at what happened to Team Fortress, bro. Fix TF2. I'm hoping to God that Fix TF2 does something. It has to do something. We cannot fail, because if this fails, because there's a lot of pressure on the community. This is getting as big as Save TF2. The first protest, specifically. We are trying to rally as much people as possible. This is a fully planned protest. This is a fully planned ordeal we're having, we're dealing with right now. We're not gonna just do it one day and then suck Valve. Because that's what happened in the second protest. It wasn't save TF2. It was, hey Valve, hey Valve, hey Valve, um, we like TF2. Yeah, here's some clips. Here's some clips, Valve. Um, here's some, here's some clips, Valve. Uh, can you please remove the bots and can you please, um, you know, do something about this valve because I, re I really like the fortress valve, you know? That's a spy. And, and it's like, no, that sh and that sh doesn't work! This, the second to save TF2 sh wasn't a fing protest, it was a, it was a, it was a fing sucking competition. And with Fix TF2, our goal with this, yes, our, as in you, you are involved in this now. Go in the link in the description, https colon slash slash safe dot tf dot com. Sign the petition with your email and your alias or your real name, I don't care. Sign the shit. June 3rd, we are going to make it known we, because we have a week or two weeks to gather as much people as we can to participate in this protest against Valve's horrific, disgusting negligence of Team Fortress! Who? We must protest as a community. We must go up to, we must basically use our mind, our collective little one brain cell, to protest against Valve's disgusting excuse for maintenance by, by removing free to play's ability to communicate in a basic vote kick system that bots use against human players. This is getting un acceptable. We need to do something about this because now the bot hosters and the bot hosting support Discord server are committing crimes. They're committing crimes. Mega Scatterbomb has been, has been as Mega Scatterbomb with his back with his background of software engineering and his talents of developing software has been creating an uh, an anti cheat for um, Team Fortress 2 that basically kicks out all of, well, no bot um, code and everything. It's still in his office stages. This guy, this innocent person trying to do Valve's job has been f***ing harassed, doxxed, swatted, threatened, death threatened. Everything you could f***ing name of that isn't physical abuse has been put towards this guy. It's f***ing disgusting because all these degenerate f***ing losers who have not felt the single pore of a woman contact with their dusty, crusty skin are doing this because TF2 is for N-words. TF2 is for N-words. Hard are N-words. TF2 is a shitty game and it needs to die. We're saving TF2, and, and then and then they're using and then they're using this horrible technology against innocent Team Fortress players. Who? Oh my God! How is this fucking okay? And you know, and then the, the, the Eric Smith, whatever the his name is, you know, the guy who makes TF2 Classic, was like interviewing him with Valve Tour, and then and then Eric Smith's like, oh, uh, we're we're all short staffed, and and you know. Uh, we don't have time to deal with it, and it, but it breaks our hearts, though. Um, look, you have 440 employees. I get it. That's kind of understaffed considering that, you know, your Valve video game company. But you 
hire the best of the best. That's what you're fucking known for. So won't you use those damn people that you employ and instead of having your little fucking weird employment technology, whatever the rule where like and developers can work on what they want. Why don't you threaten to fire them if they don't do their basic job? I I'm, I'm f feel like SpongeBob right now. Uh, why don't I get someone with a job to do? You know why? Because I, when I want a job done, I get someone with a job to do that job. I want you guys to listen to me carefully because I know I'm sounding very mean and very toxic and very angry, as I rightfully am. But please pay attention to what I'm going to say here. Do not make this an aggressive protest the, we will have an aggressive protest will happen if absolutely done necessary if at all do not make this an oppressive protest do not make this aggressive and do not make this illegal do not dox valve do not harass valve harass valve but do not commit crimes please we're better than this Do not doom post right now. Doom posting does not help right now. And I know you guys have no faith. And you have every right to feel like you have no faith. I completely understand you. But we can make this work if all of us do it together. And I know that's kind of corny, but it is the truth. Do not harass people. Look, ball hosters fucking suck. But the problem is if we harass them, we give them attention and then they'll use our information that we got from giving them attention through social media and dox us, harass us, de um, swat us. It's, it's an entire community full of hundreds of thousands of people dedicated to ruining video games. Fortnite isn't, um, Fortnite? Team Fortress isn't the only victim. They've done this to other video games. They are, these are the same people that killed off Little Big Planet for fuck's sake. Yeah, Little Plan wasn't just randomly shut down one day. It was DDoS for two years. That's what the fuck. And Sony gave up trying to counteract them. The little treadmill problem. Which, by the way, what Valve says about the treadmill problem is fucking bullshit. Every fucking problem on the fucking planet, I'm sounding like I'm written by Vizipop, is a goddamn uh, treadmill problem. This bitch ass community. Yes, you know, f this place. F this community has become completely complacent with bots. With, they, they just, it's just the norm now. Oh, a new player tries to play TF2. Just go to community servers. Don't go to pubs. Thing is, every time I hear one of those things, I get physically angry because we should not be complacent with a very real problem because we're simply unable to stop it. I don't care. Valve is a six is a 7.7 .7 billion dollar company. They hired the best of the best to innovate gaming to its to its highest maximums of that decade. They made Half-Life 2, Portal, Team Fortress, Half-Life Alex. They made fucking anything every every like pc game you've ever heard of they made it left for dead they made it so valve has zero excuse to basically say we don't want to do treadmill problems you are a video game company yes they kind of yes they kind of stopped making video games because now they, they just run steam but still you are a video game company you produce video games online based service video games that you still advertise and that you still promote to this very day. You still have it available on Steam. You still want, you still sell keys and items and taunts. You should do your job, hire, no, fucking force your fucking employees, not just, oh, they'll do it on their, they'll do it on their own. If they want to work on something, they'll work on it. Force them or they'll get fucking fired. That's what you should do. And force them to keep maintenance of Left 4 Dead 2 because that's getting DDoxed. TF2 because everybody knows. Fucking. You know, those are the two main games actually. Oh, Counter Strike 2 because now 
Counter Strike is Valve's biggest video game moneymaker. And guess what? There's bots on that game too. Because it's fing Valve. Valve. We have horrible anti cheat. Oh my god. I'm s oh, I'm so. I'm fing mad. I am mad. Go in the link of the description and sign the petition. And on June 3rd, we will bombard Valve. We will review bomb Valve. We will, we will harass Valve. We will do what we have to fucking do to fix our game by any means necessary. Any means. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be now because remember, May 26th, it is not the time to start it make trending. It is the time to get as many people as we can to sign it, as many people as we can to hear of it, and as many YouTubers and content creators to talk about it so we can get Valve on the meantime. And then if Valve somehow communicates back, do not yeah, be now. complacent and say, oh, it's over, we did it, yay, hey, WW. No. Keep going until they keep their promise. We are trying to save this game. They have to fix this game. We have to work together and basically say, Valve, you still f***ing have this game available. Fix it, dude. We don't want to play any other game. We don't play COD. We don't play bitch ass f***ing hell divers, whatever. We don't want to play Dead by Daylight, whatever the f***. We want to play your game and it's called Team Fortress 2. So why don't you fix your f***ing game? Because TF2 has such a, has such a marvelous legacy with Wait, Rise of the Epic Crap, Scout, dumbass. SFMs, memes, iconic, uh, expiration date, Adult Swim crossovers, um, Batman crossovers, Xenomorph crossovers. We have a long history here. And people, if the thing is, not many people have PCs, and the first game they want to play when they get PCs are going to be TF2. And I know what a lot of people say, but um, they did fix it for a bit after a save TF2 tweet. And yes, kinda, not really though. So coming from a person who grew up with TF2, this is unacceptable. I am angry. This is not okay. We need this fix. And the only separating factor between bots and casual mode is VAC anti-cheat. Say it with me everyone, VAC is not an anti-cheat, it's a suggestion.